Welcome to the Foreign Fork, everyone. Today we are making gallo pinto, which is a breakfast recipe from Costa Rica. It's a rice and beans dish, and it has some delicious uh, bell peppers in it, and then an extra secret ingredient that I'm really excited to show you. So keep on watching, and we're gonna go through the process together. Welcome to the Foreign Fork Kitchen. My name's Alexandria, and this is the Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we're doing a Costa Rican breakfast dish that's called gallo pinto. It's made with rice and beans. And I actually made this on a live on YouTube a couple of months ago, but I wanted to come back and make a video um, where I could walk you through the steps and write out the ingredients and things like that so that you could see how to make it. Today we are gonna get started with two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan that you've heated over medium high heat. And then I have one onion that's chopped, and then I've also added one half of a red pepper chopped and one half of a yellow pepper chopped. We're gonna heat these over medium high heat, saute them in the oil for about five minutes or until the onions start to turn translucent and you can tell that it's cooked a little bit. So you can see that the onions here have started to turn translucent, they're pretty cooked through, so now it's time to add the beans. So traditionally, gallo pinto is a dish, like I said, made for breakfast in Costa Rica, and it's normally made for breakfast because it's made with leftovers from the night before. So if they had white rice or beans at um, home for dinner the night before, then you would heat it up together in this pan, uh, eat it by itself, or crack an egg over it and have it for breakfast. So I have some leftover rice that we'll be using in a second, but I didn't have any leftover beans. So in that case, I opened a can, a 15 ounce can of black beans, and I actually drained them and I reserved the black bean juice. We're not gonna add that in yet, but that is a requirement. So make sure that you drain the black beans and you put the juice off to the side. And right now I'm just gonna add the normal drained black beans into this pan. And I'm just gonna uh, mix them around with the onions and heat it till it's, the beans are heated all the way through. So next I have some leftover rice. It was probably about one cup of uncooked rice that is now cooked, so maybe two or so cups now. Um, but this is leftover, and so I am just going to dump it out into the pan as well and stir it around with the beans so that it can heat through as well. Fun fact, a lot of people wonder where the name gallo pinto comes from, and it actually means speckled rooster. Um, nobody really knows why it's called speckled rooster, but they think maybe it's because like the beans, the black beans in a bed of white rice kind of looks like the feathers of a speckled rooster, but that is what the name means if you're ever wondering. Now to this, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of cumin, a half teaspoon of salt, and then two tablespoons of lozano. So lozano is a Costa Rican salsa spice type thing. Um, that you can buy on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below to the lozano that I have bought from Amazon um, that you're gonna add into here. If you don't feel like going on a wild goose chase or waiting for lozano to arrive in the mail, you can also use um, Worcestershire sauce as a replacement. So you can substitute that if you'd like, but if you really wanna make the true Costa Rican way, order lasano. I promise it's worth it. Um, I've had readers comment on my page that have ordered the lasano and they're like, oh, we're never going back. So that's a good option if you have the uh, ability to do that. And then lastly, once everything is mixed together, and nice and warm, we have the reserved black bean juice that we were talking about before. I'm gonna use about half of this, um, pour it in and then mix it together. And if I feel like it needs a little bit more liquid, I'll put the other half in. Anybody have a spotted rooster at home? You wanna comment and let me know if this is what its feathers look like, please? I'd really like to know. Beautiful, and I don't think we need to add any more liquid. It looks nice and, um, it's not wet, but it's not dry, if that makes sense. Like that black bean juice kind of brought it all together, um, but it's not like soupy or there's no liquid left over in the pan, and that's exactly what we want. And that means that our gallo pinto is done. And it's as easy as sauteing some vegetables and then combining the rest of the ingredients together. My favorite way to eat this is to put a little bit of cheese on top and then put a over easy egg and then I crack the yolk and I mix it all in and oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> so if you want the link to make this at home, you can walk through it really easily. 
I'll put the link to the written instructions down in the description of this video so that you can check it out. And then don't forget to check out all the other videos I have on my site. We have recipes from all around the world that I know you are going to love. Thank you guys so much for spending the week with me and I will see you next week. Bye.